so Anthony, I have uh, these uh, the chip pans pulled out of the machine, and uh, the machine is currently running right now. Um, but these are the chip pans, and uh, they are on rollers, as you can see. So we just removed uh, that pan, and the drain uh, will drain into the coolant tank right there. The chip pan itself, from, from the back of the machine, will slide into this recess that I'm showing right there. And so there's one here and there's one here. And that's why there's two reservoirs and they connect together with a uh, plastic tube equalizing the uh, coolant there. So, and there is the uh, So for what it's worth, uh, Anthony, uh, this thing has about 28 inches, maybe 24 to 28 inches to the wall. And uh, I'll just show you, it's, it slants in towards the machine where the pans go and uh, giving it more room uh, to work with and then access to the pans there and um, so it, it certainly needs more room than it has now uh, to uh, access the pans uh, to uh, get the to access the coolant pans and pull them out so I'm not sure what you're thinking but that gives you a good view of the back of the machine Here is a uh, shot of the uh, electrical tag on the back. So this is a brief shot of the uh, transformer here and right there is input power uh, 220, uh, 380, 400, 420, 440 and it goes on so uh, here is the transformer in the control panel and this is the rest of the control panel really nicely put together in here and uh, as we discussed here's a shot of the uh, uh, manuals for the machine uh, there's a Fanuc uh, operators manual and then the manuals for the uh, machine itself